Okay, today, today we we'll, we shall be checking pairwise Granger causality test, right? That we shall be doing today. Pairwise, that means between two variables. So, and we have uh, four variables. Those are export, GDP, import, and money supply. We have these four variables. So, that is uh, our variables are variables are, are our variables are these four export, GDP, import, and money. I am opening all the variables as a group. Okay, so, these are my variables export, GDP, import and money supply. You can see all the variables are here from 1960 until 1995, right. Okay. And now, uh, now uh, we want to check, sorry, we want to check, want to check pairwise, pairwise causality, right. How to check? I go to quick group statistics. I come here, Granger causality task, right, among four variables. I click here. So, here I put all the variables export, export, GDP, import and money, right. We have these four variables that I put here. Then I run the model, I press OK. okay here, first I choose lag 2. First, I choose lag two, and so first I start with lag two. That means it is here. First, I start with lag two, and see what happens. Okay, I press OK. The result has come up. You can see the result from here, right? Pairwise result. You can see from here. So, the result is here the pairwise Granger causality test, and these are and we have chosen lag 2 and our null hypothesis. So, these are our null hypothesis, right. These are our null hypothesis. Okay, so, okay. The first null hypothesis GDP does not grandeur cause export, and it is the F statistics 0 0.92 and corresponding p value, right? You can see p value how much 40.74 percent. 40.74 percent is the p value and which is more than 5 percent. So, meaning that meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis because the p value is more than 5 percent meaning that we accept null hypothesis that is GDP does not cause export. What about the second one, second null hypothesis? Export does not cause GDP. Can I reject? The probability is 43.83 percent which is more than 5 percent. 
so we cannot reject null hypothesis. Rather, we accept null hypothesis, meaning that export does not cause GDP. Okay, then what about the second one? Import does not cause export. It, it is the F statistics 4.34 and corresponding p value, how much? 2.24 percent, which is more, which is less than 5 percent. So, we can reject null hypothesis and it is our null hypothesis. Import does not cause export. We can reject it, meaning that import does cause export. Import does cause export. So, that means from the import, import cause export, that is one way, that is called one way uh, causation, one way causation, that is import cause export. What about the second one? Export does not cause import. F statistics and corresponding p value. How much is the p value? How much? p value is uh, 2.25 percent, which is less than 5 percent, meaning that we can reject null hypothesis. So, meaning that export cause import right we can reject the null hypothesis meaning that export cause import so the export cause import so 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 what is happening here import cause export at the same time export also cause import meaning that here there is bidirectional association ship, bidirectional causality here happening because import cause export and export cause import. So, there is a bidirectional causality. What about the next one? money does not grandeur cause export. So, that is the null hypothesis. Can I reject? No, because p value is 11.87 percent, meaning that we accept null, meaning that money does not cause export. Okay, then what about this one? Export does not cause money. 8.57 percent, meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis, meaning that export cause money, money supply. Here money means money supply. Then import does not cause GDP. Yes, uh, import we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that import does not cause GDP. At the same time, GDP does not cause import because p value is more than 5 percent. What about here? Money supply does not cause GDP. Yes, it is true, it is true because we cannot reject this hypothesis. At the same time, GDP does not cause money, that is also true because we cannot reject null hypothesis. And then money does not cause import, yes it is true because we cannot reject null hypothesis and import does not cause money, yes 
this statement is also true because we cannot reject it because the p value is more than 5 percent. So, that is the result from this pairwise Granger causality. So, here what is the outcome? What is the result? The result is import cause export and export cause import. So, because uh, meaning that there is bi-directional causality only, there is bi-directional causality only between these two variables, but others variables have no causality right that we have uh, we have uh, already checked right between other two variable there is no causality only there exist a pairwise causality we we can see pair pairwise causality between import and export so 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 that is the outcome that is the outcome for pairwise Granger causality test. When we choose lag 2, but what happens if we choose lag 4? That means, lag selection is very important. If the lag, if the lag changes, then whole result also changes. So, lag lag is a very important in Granger causality test.